What's going on everybody, it's your boy Warmerster. So yesterday Easy Tech uploaded a new game trailer for the upcoming games. Uh, there's a title reveal at the end, but uh, the title of this video is quite different. Live for honor, die for honor. My heart is like my sword. Uh, would rather die than surrender. So I don't know where that word came from, but it is very strange. And uh, a lot of people have been commented. I also commented, but uh, Pretty much, I think I didn't think my comment would pop up, but it's fine. Uh, I have seen this video; it's been been leaked, and uh, I've been discussed with a friend of mine talking about it. So let's watch the trailer all together. I will try to minimize the sound to avoid the sound from the mic. Okay. Okay, so immediately we'll see European War 7 Medieval. So this is a, a new storyline but the same franchise. The reason why East Tech has been doing this European franchise because uh, in the beginning of the day, European, for, uh, European War 1, 2 uh, was basically uh, in Europe, focused on World War 2 content. But uh, European War 3 was more of a World War 1 uh, kind of game so with Qing with France USA and so on and so on so European War 4 Napoleon European War 5 more of a cartoon ish European War 6 was Napoleon European War 6 1914 was World War 1 so European War medieval uh, a new setup a new timeline and you can see the uh, word medieval is kind of designed into a old uh, Arabian font with a jewel, a red jewel in the letter A. Uh, so we can say that this might be a crusade war, there might be something, a religious war, because we have seen the uh, cross, the Christian cross uh, at the beginning of the trailer. It's called European Wars uh, 7 Medieval, and you can see the background, there's a sand, a sand. So, you know, which, which uh, part of the world that have sand? Well, you got Texas, you got China in Xinjiang, also got sand. You got uh, uh, the Arabian Desert, you know, the Sahara Desert. So I think it will connect it between Europe and uh, Middle East mostly. So it will start from, you know, I don't know how many years, but I can say that EasyTech uh, would kind of introduce uh, multiple character. Uh, what I want to say is that this is what I hope. I hope that EasyTech would take this as a you know like will conquer four type like you know you have mission you have generals you have campaign you have conquest do that but what i don't like about easy tech is that they kind of make it look so minimal the way different from the old design they made it like uh just campaign and then uh, small conquest that's it that's it it's all done so players are expected more from that and they keep on updating it updated 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 so players some player would would not have the uh capacity to wait for european war uh seven for the uh, upcoming updates and update what i want is that it's like to update it all like make it as playable a long term and then after that you update the game just like world Congress 3 they made world Congress so hard that people have to wait and uh you know, try their best to grind until the very end, you know. But uh, I guess this is the new method of Easy Tech, you know. So European War 7, Medievals, uh, the new game, pretty much anything we know right now, uh, release date, I don't know, maybe December, as, as far as I can know, can tell. People were expecting World Conquer 5, but it's not. So leave a comment down below for what you guys think. This is a really good game, a good trailer. What do you expect? Uh, release date, price, everything. So... Yeah, see you guys next time.